What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. Oh buddy, our front end of our Tahoe is looking mean. It's looking clean. Um, now, here is the Ford Red, here is the Chevy Red. In some lights and direct on, it does look a shade darker, but that's just how any paint really works. Like, look at this, this looks darker than this, and this looks uh, lighter than that, or this looks darker than this little thing there. So, it's just kind of lighting, but you look here, it looks relatively close. Obviously, we know it's not the same color, but it looks close, it flows, and to be honest, it was just driving the Tahoe, and I got back, and while I was driving out of the parking lot, and there was the stock version of this, it might have been a Suburban, or Tahoe, but same concept, red with the chrome and everything, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh my goodness, the little things change a vehicle completely, and ours looks darn good the way it's sitting. Uh, I was looking up headlights today, all the like, the. Uh, LED strip ones, they make the front end of these Tahoes look real, real funny. So I almost might just order a brand new set of these uh, black ones, clear lenses, and I'm gonna get a whole set of HIDs, I think I'll throw those in there, uh, get that going. But our grill, oh my goodness, looks super good. Like second day with it, it's actually ridiculously shiny compared to the paint. I do need to do a full paint correction on this. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but I will. But this, oh my goodness, the, just the clear, <laughs> it laid so well and it's just so shiny, but it really pulls that front end together. Ohio, we don't need front plates anymore. Not that we kinda ran with them anyway, but we don't need front plates anymore. So I need to find something that'll fit in the stock place here. But the reason for today's video is I don't know if I messed up or not. So I've been waiting all day, did some things, got the haircut, did whatever, waiting all day. I'm like, where is FedEx? I'm waiting on FedEx this whole day. And what happened was I looked out the window and I'm like the whole freaking truck, like long bed truck. I'm not talking like the little baby FedEx truck. That's like stubby. The whole long truck was like up to here and from here to there. I said, oh my goodness. Didn't even hear him pull in or anything. I heard a beep beep, got back in his truck and left, and left all of our tires for our Tahoe at our front door. I'm gonna show you guys these things. They are ridiculous. These things are massive. <laughs> um, ooh, like I said, this has never been done on a Tahoe. This tire has never been done on a Tahoe, and this tire is never done on half of any vehicles anyway. But my goodness, these things are huge. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. Now you might think these look like small tires, but let me bring them around front. Next to this uh, Super Duty here, they might not look that impressive. <laughs> Never been done, hardly ever get used in the build, like the truck build industry, hardly ever get used. I can't find barely any, um, even custom offsets, gallery, stuff like that. I can, they're just not common because of the weird size. They're, they're hard to fit. Oh, nothing's better than a fresh set of Fury tires, guys. Nothing's better. And as you guys can see, we went with 35 1550 on a 22 inch wheel. Usually, guys, the most common 35 inch tire is your 35 1250. Now, compared to this tire, that is super, super thin. Most recent years, another tire has came to the market that is more appealing to some of the people who want to run 12 wide uh, wheels and such so you don't have to stretch your tires and that is a 35 1350. Well, we added an extra two inches and we have gone to a 35 inch tire that is also 15 and a half wide. Now this is a big boy. So rolling one up next to the Tahoe here, extra dumb meat, oh my goodness. This thing is absolutely massive. As you guys know on my truck here, we have the 40, 1550 on a 26 inch wheel. But look at how wide this is. This is a 40 1550 on a 26 by 14. 
Look at how wide and big that is. Just pan out a little bit. There's your 35 1550 and it's a 22. Now some of you are gonna be like, what, 22s? That's such a small wheel nowadays, but you gotta look at this. I guess this is probably a better representation. Look at the sidewall between the wheel and the tread on the 40. Take the aspect ratio, I'll drag the corner, make the picture a little bit smaller. There we have it. There is our 35-1550R22, and as you can see, ratio-wise, wheel to tire, they are exactly the same. The 22 on a 35 gives you a decent amount of meat, you know, saves that lip of your wheel. Same thing here, that's why I went with a 26 and not a 28 or a 30. Simply for this, the little bit of protection, a little bit softer ride, you got a little bit of meat to a giant wheel so when you go with a tire i almost said this small but when you go with a tire like a 35 this size wheel to give yourself a little bit of meat you gotta have yourself a 22 on a 35. 22s on 35s, 24s on 37s and 38s, and 26s on 40s will give you that kind of sidewall ratio. So overall, we're gonna have a huge tire, like 15 and a half inches wide is huge. Look at this, guys. That is absolutely, absolutely just ridiculous. Look at this. And we're sticking this tire, which you really don't find anyone doing 35, 1550s on a 22, on their Tahoe. And I sure haven't seen a 35, 1551 rolling around in general. These are just an uncommon tire because of the width compared to the height. But there's a demand clearly because Fury makes one. So this, this tire is actually probably good for like a Super Duty, honestly, with a decent lift and some wide wheels so you know maybe even like a three inch lift on this guy some 35 1550s and a decent wheel would fit this well give you some good stance and uh yeah so i mean these weren't that expensive either going you know width wise if i did like a toyo mt on a 35 1250 on this they'd be more expensive than that and you're getting so much more meat and such a better look with this fury when these were at the front door looking at them and i'm like how on earth am i gonna fit those well now next to the Tahoe with the lift kit. So I just got an update, it should ship towards the end of the month, which sucks, obviously everything's backed up, everything. And to be honest, part of the part of the reason why I went with the 1550 is not only did I really want this wide meaty look, they were what was in stock. Literally the 35 1550s, there was hundreds in stock. The 35 1250s, 35 1350s, um, 37 1350s and 37 1250s limited to no stock at all so not only did i want this look but it was literally what was in stock so now knowing the lift kit that i ordered and is coming i'm gonna tell you that this is going to be a big tahoe i did the measurement off the mirror yesterday of you know stock tires plus this and the lift yeah this mirror is gonna be mm, probably like right here yeah i'm not showing you guys but it's gonna be big. So really, really quick spiel here on why we went with 35s instead of 37s. Well, basically 1500 trucks, SUVs and such, their suspension components, drivetrain, gearing are just simply not meant to handle super heavy tires. Obviously these are what come on at stock and these SUVs, stock trucks, stock 1500s, all that they drive so amazing. But you don't want to sit there and stress it out, like just, just stress the whole thing out and it'd be like not fun to drive, running through ball joints, running through hubs, all that stuff. You don't want to do that. You really don't. So that's why instead of going huge on it, we went with a 35. And you know, to be honest, a 35 1250 wasn't going to give me the stance and the look and the feel and the build I wanted. So I also just didn't want to do huge wheels on 35s either. I wanted to do something special, something naughty, something different. And here we have our 35 by 15 and a half inch meat that will be going under our Tahoe. Now, this is fully outside of our wheel well here right now, but let me get you a tape measure and I'll show you something fun. So you come in here into the wheel well, and honestly, depending on how the offset of our new wheels sit, I don't know where it'll, the back end of it'll be. I really don't know, but just figure you use the stock tire. Let's see here, and I'm gonna go back to where it begins. <laughs> 15 and a half. Yeah, that's gonna be poking out just a bit. Now I'll just figure some offset on the wheel and I'll go to the first tread here. So just take about a, you know, about an inch sticking, you know, out more than we started. 
15 and a half. Um, that's where my thumb is. That's where my boot is. That's where I am. Um, um, that's gonna be out there. And these things do bulldog stance when you lift them, so we will, they're almost bulldog stance right now. You can almost see it tires way far in. But these are almost bulldog stance when you lift them, so we will do the two inch spacer on the rear and get it all lined up correctly. But same thing in the rear. These things are just gonna stick out so far. Not like I really wanna stick out like something crazy, but I feel like obviously it's not gonna stick that far out. That'd be stupid. It'll poke out a lot and um i feel like it's gonna look mad good oh so guys i feel like these tires are honestly gonna bring our tahoe to a new level obviously you guys already see they make our stock tires look puny it's gonna bring this tahoe to a whole new level and obviously we got fact we got factory 20s on here so we did bump it up to a 22 but like i explained i definitely want that just a bit of sidewall if we took this up to a 24 you're probably up to about here. When I was growing up, it was like 17s and 18s on 35s. And like on my 06 Cummins, I hit 20s on 37s. 20 by 12s were cool back in the day. And I was just like, if you had those, oh, like it was nuts. I had 22s on my 37s on my Ram. So like I said, we are going with that little tight little sidewall here. But guys, the width of these tires are gonna be absolutely ridiculous ridiculous on this Tahoe that's gonna be a wide hoe that's gonna be freaking nuts but yep there we go guys again another quick thing on the Furies they're doing me great on the truck and like I said Fury had a 35 15 50 a lot of other companies don't but these Furies they did ask for a little bit of weight but I can't one of these wheels has 0.25 uh, ounces on it so I know a lot of people ask about the Furies all the time, but one of these wheels has like 0.25 ounces on it for like a 40 and a 26. That's nuts. Uh, there's a couple other ones that ask for a lot more weight, but not worried about that. Honestly, seeing the stock tires on the Tahoe and walking this way and realizing what's going on it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be incredible. Well, oh, that's enough fun for today. Now, we're actually gonna put our top. Good God. But now we're going to put our top hole to work. Oh, so guys, we go camping like once a year, and it's just one of those things where. While we're there, we like to enjoy it. So we're pretty much, my buddy's got this Honda Rancher. I think the stator's bad, so he's not gonna have time to fix the stator for us to, uh, oh, bump. To fix the stator for us to go camping and have two usable ATVs. So obviously I have my Kawasaki and his Rancher. So I figured while he was down there, I went and picked it up, and I was gonna bring my truck and haul the ATV with the truck, but it takes a one and seven eighths ball for this ATV trailer, and the Gen Y hitch only comes with a two inch and a two and five eighths ball. So my buddy had a hitch that was already on it with the one and seven eighths ball. For me to get that, even that hitch into my Gen Y hitch on my truck, I'd have to buy the little receiver adapter thing and I didn't want to do that it was about 20 bucks so I figured I'd just take the Tahoe put it to work uh, we're in tow haul mode hauling our quad and uh, um, low fuel lights on fuel range 31 miles do we trust it absolutely not do we get fuel we should ask me why we aren't <laughs> um, I forgot my wallet at home the one thing I knew leaving I was like I probably should get fuel forgot my wallet so uh, cross our fingers and making sure we get home hoping we get home uh, without running out of fuel. If not, we'll be calling Katie. But I think we'll be okay. Oh my gosh, we got people passing. I wonder if I caught that on camera, but we got people passing people on double yellow. If you get passed on a double yellow, that means you're going beyond too slow. Yeah, we're just cruising. Honestly, Tahoe pulls great. I think when you put it in tow haul mode, the whole like uh, V4, V8 mode switch thing just deactivates. I think we're V8 mode the whole time. She hauls great. Obviously, it's not that much weight couple hundred pounds or so but if you owned a Tahoe this is probably what you'd be hauling with one anyway either a couple jet skis or you know a single ATV or two a couple dirt bikes so you know what we're doing quite quite good here uh, hopefully we don't run out of fuel but Tahoe's pulling great oh baby I honestly can't wait to get this thing lifted it's just gonna have such a road presence especially with the, especially with those 35 1550s 
Uh, 22s, I haven't told you the width yet, but you guys should see it in the next video. Oh, this thing's just gonna be absolutely nuts on the road. Oh, guys. We made it back with uh, fuel range on low and we are below E. Luckily, there is a fuel station not too far from here we should be able to make it. So obviously here is our 2012 Tahoe and coming back here as I we'll probably ran into some dirt, but look at this, wanted some work also. Oh, check out them tail lights, boys. Oh boys, these look so darn good. Their brake light, I don't know if that's working right now or not. No, but she looks good. Uh, but here's the thing, this is an eight inch drop. I think this is a Smitty. This might be from uh, four wheel parts almost. I think it is, because <laughs> I had the same hitch at one point. But eight inch drop and it's almost still not low enough on this Tahoe. So I really, really wasn't planning on buying another giant drop hitch for this when we were done, but we may have to because an eight inch drop boys is almost not enough. We may have to go 12, 14. I think that's an 18 or a 15. We may have to do the same thing, which would be absolutely ridiculous. If that thing was expensive. That was like a $700 hitch and I really don't want to do and powder coat another one of those in my oven either. But yeah, here's the Honda Rancher. I know there's a lot of ATV people because they always see my Kawasaki back there and there's a lot of ATV people. So he has got a Honda Rancher 350. I forget what year. Pretty much, I guess, full out question before I start tackling into this. I haven't even looked into this motor or anything, but Stater, if you guys have any tips, tricks, or what have you, if you guys have replaced one on a Honda Rancher 350 here, drop them in the comments below. It'll help me out a ton. Gotta do this or that or move this hose or that, you know, little things. Um, and we can get that all figured out. Hopefully get all fixed up for when we go camping here very, very soon. But yeah, I've actually never hauled anything with like an SUV, so it's a different different vibe different kind of style but kind of enjoyable actually i thought it was fun you know could have used a little more power so i may see if we can tune this or do something or delete the um delete the uh, v4 v8 thing because it's kind of kind of a turd I'm not gonna lie this thing this thing pulls hard when you give it to it but i'm also i was running out of gas so i didn't want to like use excess fuel but it doesn't do that bad and honestly towing with this thing super sweet not that it matters those tires are f load so we can tow with them the glare from the sun through this windshield is absolutely awful oh my goodness it is so so bad so i gotta get this tint done here soon i do have a roll of 50 percent um, that i can hand cut me a windshield and get that on sooner than later because I just can't deal with it. That almost be, might be the next video. I really cannot uh, deal with that anymore. I don't know, maybe if the, all that stuff works out, but. <laughs> Look at our little unit, guys. That's so awesome, a little SUV trailer action. That is mad awesome. Got our 35 1550s in here, all stacked up. Decently, decently large off the vehicle, but what really throws it in perspective is how wide they are. They are stupid wide, which is gonna be awesome on the Tahoe. Yeah, so I apologize for the short video today. A lot of talking, not much doing, but like I said, I'm waiting on the wheels. I'm waiting on the lift. Tires just came in. Did a little towing action for you guys, but um, yeah, like I said, guys, waiting on some stuff. Next video you guys see, I need to get something done, the tent or something, because I'm blinding my eyes. I'm gonna order the headlights and the light bulbs and stuff. Somebody said Diodynamics have fog lights for these, so I'm gonna check that out. And uh, yeah, so I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you think these 35 1550s were a good move, shoot this video a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe, take care, and I will see you guys in the next video.